box here next to you. <laughs> <coughs> Let's stand together. What's our first one? Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. <coughs> Anything for us, Dave? You guys might see Larry's taking up a different instrument this morning. <laughs> Actually, this is Jonathan's cousin, and his name is John, also. So, we want to welcome him this morning. Larry's somewhere in the Caribbean in his Bermuda shorts and flip flops. <laughs> There we go. All right. Ready, John? <laughs> says there's if the road is marked with suffering and there's pain in the offering that tells us we've all had that those times when things don't go the way we had planned to go <laughs> or the way we wanted things to go the way we had prayed for things to go even they don't just go exactly that way but the Lord's got a plan that we don't see right that's why he's blessed either way he doesn't change you know our circumstances change all the time but he never changes 
And nobody has that unless you have Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, things change and you're going to be in a roller coaster forever. Because it's not always good, but it's not always bad, but it's going to be a mess if you don't have something solid in your life, right? Like Sam said, Jesus is right here. He's right here. He's that close. Amen? That's something to be thankful for today, I think. This song says, He reigns. He is in charge. to the congregation. Someone tell me why you're so thankful that God does reign. He reigns in your life. Because he's a man in charge of your life if you allow it. Amen. We all Amen. Hope of Amen. We got a hope of eternity. Something better than this place we're in right now. He has strength that I don't have. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He does. Amen. We're one of his children. You know, the, the scripture says, don't make this world your home. <laughs> There's a reason for that, because this is not, nothing like it's going to be. It's going to be good someday. It's going to be a lot better than what we got. We're so thankful for that because of Jesus. This next song is a worship song. If there ever was one written, it's called a Revelation Song.
American tourists love to take communion in the Garden of Gethsemane. 